Hello all. I am Mr. Seed. You know, I also move. But I don't move like you because I don't have legs. So how do I move? Today we will study about dispersal of seeds. Now you must be thinking that what is dispersal? Dispersal means moving or scattering. Now, how do plants move their seeds or how do seeds move? If I say the seeds move like us, they have legs like us. Will you believe me? Nah, you will not. So, right, seeds don't move like us because they don't have legs, but they are dispersed. They are scattered. They are dispersed from one place to another by certain agents like wind, water, air, animals, or by explosion. Now, why do seeds need to disperse? You must be thinking that why do seeds need to disperse? Why can't seeds stay with their parents? Now, it's always good to stay with the parents, right? It is. Yes, it is. But, you know, when we grow up, we also move away for certain reasons, like for uh, job opportunities, better job opportunities, for better, for higher studies, or for some other reasons. Same way, seeds also need to disperse, because if seeds will not disperse, they all will grow at one place. So they will find less space to grow and they will have competition among themselves for water, light and nutrients. And so they will not grow properly. Some of the seeds will not grow and some of them will grow, but those plants will not be healthy. So seeds need to disperse. Now, so what is the definition of dispersal of seed? The scattering of seeds away from the parent plant by wind, water, animals or other methods is known as dispersal of seeds. Now, in my previous slides, we discussed about the agents of seed because the seeds can't move by themselves. So they are dispersed with the help of some agents. Those agents are wind, water, animals and explosion of roots. Now let us study about them one by one. So this is dispersal by wind. Our seed is ready to fly. Okay seed, bye bye. So the seeds which disperse by wind, what are the condition? They have to be small, they have to be light, or they have certain type of structures on them like wing or air, which make them light or which enable them to flow with the uh, air. So some examples of these seeds are drumstick seeds, seeds of cotton, seeds of madar, and seeds of dandelion. If you see here is the drumstick seeds. Yes, you are right. It's the same drumsticks which you find in your summer when you eat idli dosa and summer you find in your summer. So these drumstick seeds, if you see, they have wing-like structure. Uh, and because of that, they are carried away, away by the wind here and there. Same way with the cotton seeds. If you see the cotton have hairy white, this hairy white structure and inside them, there are the seeds. Uh, now this hairy white structure makes the seed light and thus the seeds are carried away by the wind here and there. Now, if these seeds find suitable condition, now when these seeds are carried by wind, and they find suitable condition like if they find soil, if they find water, sunlight and all proper condition to grow, they germinate and they grow into a new plant. Now some more seeds are dandelion and madar. Now madar seed, you must be familiar of it because many times we have seen it flying in the air. And you know many times we try to catch them or we try to blow them much higher. Now the second one is dispersal by water. See, our coconut is ready to swim. So seeds, some seeds, they are, they also, they are also dispersed. They are dispersed by water. They are carried away by flowing water, like say lotus and coconut. 
So if we see this is the coconut seed, the coconut seeds are carried away by the water. They flow in the water for days and days and days. And if they find suitable condition, if they find ground, if they find all proper suitable condition, proper moisture, sunlight, they are terminate and they grow into a new plant. Now, this is the lotus thalamus. This is the thalamus of the lotus. Now, this green structure is the thalamus and these green small popping out structure which you see, they are the seeds of the lotus. Now, this lotus, when uh, it grows and when the flower withers, this thalamus, the seeds come out from the thalamus and they germinate and grow into a new plant. Same way, water lily and hydrilla also grow, also uh, disperse by the water. The seeds of uh, water lily and hydrilla also disperse by water. Now, this is dispersal by animals, birds and humans. Now, certain seeds, like uh, the common example, if I take it's cockleburr seed. Now, some seeds, if you see, they have spines. And when the farmers or when the villagers or when, you know, birds and animals, they go near them. Or like sometimes if, if you see when the farmers go in the bushes, these seeds get attached on their clothes or they get attached on the body of the animals or, you know, birds. And when the birds or animals, when they shake their body, uh, the seeds fall here and there. Or when we also, like when they attach on our clothes and then we take out from our clothes, they get on here and there. And if they find suitable condition, they again become a new plant. Now, animals, birds and insects, they also eat fruits. And sometimes these seeds come out in their dropping undigested. And... If they find suitable condition, they again grow into a new plant. Now, squirrels. Squirrels, you know, squirrels have a habit of burying nuts, okay, for them so that they can use them in the time of emergency. So some of the nuts, uh, some of the nuts, they find suitable condition, they find proper condition and some of the nuts, they grow into a new plant. Humans also eat variety of fruits and throw them. Okay, so sometimes like we are eating some fruits and when we throw the seeds, okay, like we are eating mango and we throw the seeds, sometimes we throw them in the soil and sometimes it is left there untouched and uh, it finds proper condition and again it becomes a new plant. Now this is what you see in the picture, it's a cockleburr seed, okay, and you of course you can see this hairy group growth because of these, you know, spines, they get attached onto the skin of animals. And this is squirrel eating nuts. The so squirrel, as I told you, they have habits of burning nuts. And sometimes some of the nuts, they grow into, they germinate and grow into a new plant. Now, another interesting one is explosion of fruits. Now, pods of some fruits like peas, bean and balsam, you know, if we don't pluck uh, some peas, if they are left there on the plant, uh, they become big, mature, they dried. And when they dried, uh, the pods open. When the pods open, they open up with the pressure. Then the pods open up with the pressure. The seeds are scattered here and there. And when they find proper condition, they again grow into a new plant. Here is another example of dispersal by explosion that is balsam. Balsam is a common plant you must have seen here in the garden and the flowers are really beautiful and nice. So if you see here, one, one picture I tried to show you the seed. So this is the seed. When it becomes mature, it dries up, it bursts and the seeds come out. So this is the pot of the balsam. So inside this pot of the balsam, there are the seeds. When it becomes dried, the pot bursts and the seeds come out. So I hope you enjoy my video. So stay tuned. Keep